Hello everyone, welcome to another ChatGPT4 video. Today I will show you can GPT4 generate images. Now, in the last video, I showed you how you can use visual inputs in ChatGPT4. So let's go through that first. So as you can see, if we scroll down here, we can see that uh, you know ChatGPT4 uh, can accept images as inputs, right? And it can also generate captions and stuff like that, right? So for example, this is an image, right? We have eggs and flour, right? And if we scroll down, we can see that there are many options that you know we can do with these ingredients, right? For example, this is the output, right? And it gives us all the things we can do with ingredients from the image, right? This is very powerful, if you ask me. Now, second way how you can actually go and use images in GPT-4 is to actually ask a question about the image and then give the image as an attachment or as a link, right? And as you can see, uh, GPT-4 will give you the answers, right? Now, obviously, we can do inputs in GPT-4, right? We can do that uh, really, really easily. But can we do outputs? Can GPT-4 generate images? Now, if you go with one Google search here, we can see perhaps the most significant change in GPT-4 is multimodal meaning. It works with both text and images, although it cannot output pictures. As you can see, as do generative AI models such as DALI and Stable Fusion, Diffusion. Sorry. So it can process and respond to the visual inputs it receives, but it cannot actually give you the output uh, of the picture, right? So for example, you cannot, you know, GPT-4 cannot generate images. It can give you the, the output on the image, right? But it can give you uh, actual image, right? So that's pretty much it when it comes to GPT-4, right? It cannot generate images, right? or videos, but it can give you the, uh, you know, description or captions from the input that was an image, right? So I hope that makes sense. Um, hope you like this video, right? If you did, leave a like down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.